Welcome to this area design video. In this video I will demonstrate how to calculate a link once the sites have been imported into a project. Link uh, uses what are called radio in antenna templates. So a radio template includes all the necessary information to calculate a link that includes the standard frequency band, channel size, radio transmitter, radio access card, power option, protection configuration. And uh, recently we added the um, third party option. So there's a distinction between Aviat uh, equipment generated using uh, or centralized database or files uh, imported, uh, data imported using uh, Patlos text files or uh, done manually. Um, these filters, there's a, lo a lot of them, so we have created what is called a radio template filter. A radio template filter allows to filter existing uh, templates. And some of the important fields here include the manufacturer, if it's a, a Aviat Networks or third party. That means third party means that there are a local files only available to the user who has imported them or created them. Aviat network um, option basically will show all the equipment that we have in our centralized database. The next option is the ACM. Uh, yeah, uh, the option that could be ACM, fix, fix multiband or ACM multiband. So let's select ACM for example. The next option is the frequency band, transmitter type, it could be all indoor, all outdoor, for example, an all outdoor microwave that will filter down to less radius. Of course, if we put here, we'll see all the option for Aviot. Um, for example, we can select the WTM4100 the radio access card is internal, the channel size, uh, the operations would include if it's a single channel adapted dual carrier, uh, an adapter uh, dual carrier plus. The recommended option in this case is to use the adapted dual carrier plus, that is what we currently are using. The adapted dual carrier is a legacy option and protection in this case we only have one protection we can search for uh, radios here and we can see these options these options will be available will be available once we close this window in the radio template drop down menu um, in order to speed up the calculation of the link we also have the option to add what are called favorites so to add a favorite we just click on the plus button and this will be added to this option where if you click on the use favorite site that radio we just selected will be available in this reduce link uh, list we can also set the um, favorites in the uh, in a project level so once you create um, links they will automatically um, be checked so the radio template option will be checked if we create a new link for example if we say yes here come back to demo and we create a new link for example between these two points the use favorite option will be selected automatically so we will speed up the process and the only thing we will need to do is to um, select the uh, template we just created the next option is um, to use select the antenna so there are two options there is antenna diameter that will use the parabolic uh, antenna gain formula to calculate the gain 
or the antenna. Or the other option is to use an antenna template. An antenna template will basically use the, it will be the antenna on each side. So the, in this case you have the VHL P6 slash W will be on Flatwoods in the VP6 slash 59W will be on Burnsville. And we can see here the the all the options that are included in the template that includes the manufacturing codes on both sides the polarization any read on losses uh, or you can import antennas too uh, using the third party option here in advance antennas you can import those antennas and then come here and create your template with those antennas and use it the next option is to um, estimate your antenna centerline as we can see here the tower heights have been imported from the uh, from the text file we imported where we imported sites um, and they're going to be used uh, if we use the estimate antenna center so in this case we can see that uh, we got heights to clear any obstacles in the field uh, and to meet the clearance criteria um, set for this link. There are some default uh, clearance criteria that are set for uh, North America and the ITU and uh, in this case we also have a profile that uses in the US the terrain um, <coughs> USGS net 10 meters and uh, an LCD layer. So the other thing for this link is that uh, the environmental details have been already loaded. Mm, as I mentioned when we created the link, the project, we set the uh, default to be calculation method selected using uh, location so to use the coordinates of the link to select the uh, Vigans method for multiband and the crane method for rain so the tool internal has internal maps so we'll look on the coordinates we'll select the appropriate rain region C factor average annual temperature and we'll use that to calculate the link and with that we are ready to calculate the link so we can calculate the link. Okay, we can also add um, spot frequencies. So in order to do that, we can click on channels. We click on add, and then we can input the channel. So I'm gonna create one here called channel one. So I'm gonna select one frequency and paste it here. And another frequency here. Um, <clears throat> then we can select the polarization, vertical, horizontal, or circular. We can save this, and we already have our spot frequency. So basically, we have everything we need to get a report. In order to get a report, we can click on report. The report will show here a, a preview, but the um, recommend the report is the PDF uh, export that has a lot of details so we click once this button becomes green we can click on this button and um, we can open this PDF and uh, we can call sign emission designator radio ID the, the tower type and if we go to the next page, um, now we, we can show the modulation, receive signal capacity, TX power, threshold, fade margin for each modulation. The same as the uh, multipath annual availability, the rain availability, total availability, outage, and time and modulation. This means that uh, if we assume that the radio is going to work on the highest possible modulation, it will show the time 
that the radio will be on the, that modulation and then on the lower modulations. And here we can see the channel assignments. And on the final page, we'll see the uh, path profile. So this is all that I wanted to mention in this video. So hope to see you next time. Thank you.